On today's show, Pikachu. Pikachu's here, everyone. Plus market reports and a creature out for blood. This is Vulo Lives. Vulo the Face Borrower, here with the cutest little Pokemon in the world, Pikachu. It's been a while since we've talked, Pikachu. How have things been? The voice again. <laughs> oh no, I'm so sorry to hear that. I loved my wife. My love wasn't enough. How many does that make now? How many, how many divorces? I'd have to check my divorce tracker app. It's important to keep a good log of those. Yeah, I gotta send an itemized divorce list to my accountant each year. So who'd you marry and uh, divorce this time? Anyone I know? Honey Bee, the Kellogg's Honey Loops Bee. I didn't know Honey Loops had a mascot. They don't always put her on the box. The one true moon, a true romantic, is dying to know how'd you two meet? Well, I was eating a tiny little Pikachu-sized bowl of Kellogg's Honey Loops when she flew out of the open box and changed my life forever. Would you say it was love at first sight? Uh, she stung me and I had to use an EpiPen, but after that, it was smooth sailing. Until the divorce. Uh, even that was pretty smooth. I guess you are an expert at this point. I'm my own dedicated clerk down at the courthouse and everything. What would you say first attracted you to Honey Bee? What made you think she might be marriage and divorce material? Honestly, I'd been on another one of my divorce benders and my finances weren't looking so good. Getting married and divorced multiple times a year can get expensive, even in just filing fees. Yeah, you get it. Anyway, she had a steady income and a cute little bee face, so I knew, I knew she was the one to pay my condo's mortgage that month. That sounds so utilitarian. Hey, hey, I'm a romantic Pikachu, but I also have a mortgage and countless alimony payments. How long were you and Honey Bee married? What kind of a time frame were we looking at? Oh, uh, well, let's see. We got married around uh, noon yesterday. <laughs> Goodness. So this is all very recent. I loved my bee wife, but she was a honey bee and they do die soon after stinging, so we had precious little time together. Wait, wait, wait a minute, she's dead? Yeah, she died last night, right after the divorce was finalized. This is a lot, Pikachu. I'm uh, actually heading to her funeral right after this. Terrible news for cereal fans the world over. The Kellogg's Honey Loops Bee, Honey Bee is no more. My ex-wife is dead. Long live my ex-wife. Good question, One True Moon. Pikachu, what do you wear to the funeral of an ex-wife you knew for a day? Uh, I've got a three-piece suit, Kigurumi. Sorry, you're gonna wear a onesie to your ex-wife's funeral? It's the only formal wear I got. I don't think a onesie can be considered formal wear, no matter what's printed on it. Hey, I'm a, I'm a cute little Pikachu. People expect me to wear cute little clothes. You are a cute little Pikachu. Hey, you got any uh, money I can borrow? On that note, let's take a quick break and check on the crypto markets. Check on the what? Hello, I'm Kelly the Crypto Pillar and this is my crypto report. What is happening with the numbers? They keep changing, I don't understand. All of my money is gone. I put it all into Kelly coin, but now I can't even log into my account. Please, President Biden, I give up. I need my account back. Did you know that people can draw all sorts of lewd images on paper currency and it isn't even illegal? I have to risk seeing dangly unmentionables every time I go to the ATM. It's untenable. Kelly coin is the future, but I can't log into my account and the numbers keep changing. What are they doing? This is a nightmare. There's a constant howling sound right outside my ground hole, but it's only there at night and I can't sleep or log into my account. Please, President Biden, I'll use your pornographic money. Just unlock my Kelly coins. I need to see my numbers. What are they doing? That's all for now. Crypto is the future and I'm dying. Thank you, Kelly, for that illuminating report. I don't understand all this newfangled techno crypto whatevers. You should avoid it. You've got enough trouble. Hey, is this show still live? Not anymore. We're pre-recording now for 
security reasons. Got a bunch of, uh, creeps after you or something? No, I love my creeps. Someone just keeps stealing my delicious Quisp cereal, so I had to lock everything down. There's sneak thieves everywhere. Always gotta watch your back. Sneak thieves are everywhere, yes. And they're always after my Quispity Quenchity. Corn Puff Munchity Quisp. Are you doing an ad? Is this an ad? No, we don't have any sponsors this week. I tend to absorb the specific appetite quirks of the person whose face I'm borrowing, and I guess Christine was just wild about Quisp. Oh, hey, how's Christine doing? She's fine. She's doing great. She married? I would feel very uncomfortable about you marrying Christine Pikachu, if only because she is technically in a medically induced coma. I thought you said she was doing great. Well, the coma's doing great. All her numbers are perfect. You know, cholesterol and stuff. She's the picture of health. We should talk about something else. Sure. You still doing that war crime stuff? For context, Pikachu is referring to the trials I held for war criminals, not that I've done war crimes myself. Yeah, you still doing those? No, but I do have a fun new war criminal segment. The One True Moon says I should probably not refer to my war criminal segment as... fun. So what's the new segment? It's a little guessing game for my guest. You know what, I'm just now realizing you're probably not gonna like it. Why wouldn't I like it? Don't let the divorces fool you. I like fun stuff. I'm a... I'm a fun guy. All right, well, um... Here it is. Who's that war criminal? Any guesses? You're right, I don't like it. Any guesses, though? Chansey. What do I not know about Chansey? Am I right? No, it's not, it's not Chansey. I made this first one very easy, but I'll give you a clue. They won the Nobel Peace Prize. It's not, uh, it's not Pikachu, is it? I didn't know this was one of those gotcha interviews. Pikachu, if you didn't win the Nobel Peace Prize, it can't possibly be you. I don't remember what prizes I've won. They give me all sorts of awards for my cute little cheeks. Have you committed any war crimes? Who knows what they're considering war crimes these days? This is entrapment. All right, let's just go to the answer. It's Henry Kissinger. Hey, who did a trial for that guy? Yeah, I sent Kissinger to hell, but it didn't stick. He got back somehow. You should try, uh, locking him up in one of those Myst books. Pardon me? Lock him up in one of those books from Myst. The hit 1993 video game Myst? Yeah, yeah, it's much harder to get out of one of those. It's harder to get out of one of the books from Myst than it is to get out of hell. Try it. You'd be surprised. I mean, I'll try anything if it means finally getting rid of Kissinger. I'm telling you, put him in one of those Myst books. Well, it's been lovely talking to you again, Pikachu. Glad to be here. Hopefully next time I'll have good news about my next divorce. Great, can't wait to hear all about it. Stay tuned, coming up next is a brand new spooky story from our spooky story correspondent, Relno the Story Keeper. I gotta skip this, I gotta run to Honeybee's funeral. Alright, see ya, Pikachu. Hello again, friends. I am Relno the Story Keeper, here with a frightful tale to chill your bones. This is the creature from the northern woods. It was 1962, the United States of America. Anti-communist fervor wasn't quite what it had been in the 50s. Fidel Castro had risen to power in Cuba just a few years earlier, but after the US-backed Bay of Pigs invasion had ended so disastrously, there was little public support in the states for a war with his government. As John F. Kennedy debated over which human rights violations he was willing to commit against the Cuban people, a lumbering, flesh-hungry creature began its own plan against the United States. This creature was developing dastardly schemes to blow up U.S. military bases, sink U.S. ships, shoot down civilian planes, and even set off pipe bombs in major U.S. cities. This plotting, bloodthirsty, murderous creature was the CIA. 
without public support for military action against Cuba, but dearly wishing for it, the U.S. Department of Defense developed Operation Northwoods, a plot to manufacture that support through CIA false flag terrorist attacks against its own citizens and military. The plan was signed by General Lyman Lemnitzer and authorized by Kennedy's Joint Chiefs of Staff. Unfortunately for this foul creature, Kennedy's own lust for blood extended mostly to foreigners, and so the plan was never carried out. Although some say if the night is clear and the winds are calm, you can still hear its stomach growl. That's all for now. I'm Relno, the Story Keeper, reminding you to stay spooky. Well, son of a gun, I think Pikachu was right. Who are you? You can't do this to me! I can, and, uh, I, I did, Henry Kissinger. I remember you. You tried to send me to hell. Well, old Henry was too slippery. But this, what, what is this place? You're in one of the many realms of mist. The only way to get back is if uh, someone finds all your pages. You must release me. I have more work that must be done. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm certainly not going to be the one to let you out. You're kicking the hornet's nest. Do you realize how many Nobel Peace Prize winning war criminals there are? Yes, actually. There are a startling number of uh, war criminals who won the Nobel Peace Prize. The list just sort of never ends. We stand by our own. We stand by our own. We'll be coming for you. Looking forward to it. See you later, Kissy.